Greetings to our dear QCC family. God is doing some amazing things here and uh, it would not have been possible without you standing with us. And so we want to thank you very much for that. Our prayer is also for QCC that God will strengthen, sustain, multiply and grow the church to be used for his kingdom and for his glory. It is my great privilege to give thanks to God who has given me supportive QCEC family and ministry. Despite of all this challenging, we are continuing this ministry through social media and I am able to conduct Bible studies with two of my students that's from Nepal and one is from India. Nagpasalamat nga po nga po sa QCEC sa Quezon City Evangelical Church na na-invite ako minsan at yun na rin po ang naging dahilan na naging paraan para po ako ay masupport ng QCEC. At isa nga po doon ay nakapurchase po ako ng panibagong papets. At marami pa po. Taos pusong kasasalamat po ang aking pinapaabot sa inyong partnership sa walang sawa niyong pagtulong at sa gawain pinagkatiwala sa akin ni Lord. Meron pong pangako si Lord para sa inyo na nasa Hebreo chapter 6 verse 10. Makatarungan ng Diyos, hindi niya malilimutan ang inyong ginawa at ang pagmamahal na inyong pinakita at hanggang ngayon pinapakita sa pamamagitan ng paglilingkod ninyo sa mga hiniran ng Diyos. I would like to commend Quezon City Evangelical Church for pursuing mission seriously as part of God's important mandate. As I pursue God's call in cross-cultural missions, I am able to go far and wide as I harvest the unsent to the unrich people groups. Romans 10.14 reads, Now, how can they call on the one in whom they have never believed? How can they believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how can they hear unless someone proclaims him? And who will go to tell them unless he is sent? Thank you for partnering with us since uh, 2007. We really appreciate you for your prayers and for your support all these years. Your giving is um, enabling us to serve and reach out to the ministry, to the people here in Jordan. Thank you, QCEC! Hello, QCEC! Thank you very much for supporting me for many, many years. Uh, thank you especially because you've been praying for me uh, when I was in the hospital and I almost died. Uh, I thank you for for uh, uh, trying to check um, check up on me and also to uh, watch over uh, the ministry, especially right now during COVID-19. Uh, some updates from, from 2019 and also what has been happening uh, right now in 2020, uh, what we have been doing with the government. Uh, to do a shelter for the homeless and for the uh, LSI. I appreciate the equipping program you had conducted for the missionaries and leaders of our churches. It's brought a good result. The missionary and leaders were equipped and capacitated to effectively handle the ministry. Through the collaborative effort of QCEC leaders and members, children who were contacts of the supported missionaries received school supplies. Many families, church members, and new contacts happily received the food pack you have shared to us. It helped them augment their physical needs. QCEC brethren, may our Lord continually bless you. First, it was held at QCEC led by Ate Joy San Juan, a volunteer from CEF, a seminar from Sunday School Teacher for the right way to teach children. Second, the Shepherding Conference last 2019 held at Tagaytay Indeed, it was a great experience in each and every one of us. Thirdly, Christmas in November, led by UCEC, held at Siniluan, Laguna, the purpose of this event to reach out more families to receive God's love and forgiveness and to know the real meaning of Christmas. 
it is a victorious event because a lot of people, including children, receive God's love and forgiveness. And also, we are very blessed to receive face mask, alcohol, and thermal scanner. It helps us to do the safety protocol of physical gathering in our church. Thank you so much, QCEC. God bless you. A blessed mission month!